has discovered Ozempic, the weight loss drug created for people with diabetes. But with more people using Ozempic for vanity, losing weight, the people who actually depend on it, the people who need it for their health, are left empty-handed. Dr. Brandy Williams joins us here on the Factor Uncensored to talk about it. So, first of all, tell us about this drug because I didn't know about it. Okay. And I think the average person who's not diabetic would know about it. Yeah, other than the TikTok trend, no one knows about it unless you're diabetic. So the drug Ozempic, it is a GLP-1 um, receptor agonist, which is a glucagon-like gluc receptor agonist. So glucagon is something that's found in the body that the body, a hormone the body normally produces to help regulate in increase in insulin production and mm -hmm. then regulate the amount of glucose in the bloodstream. So that's how it helps with diabetes mellitus uh, type 2 because these patients are either insulin uh, dependent or insulin resistant at a time. So their body produces insulin but it doesn't pr produce it in a large enough amount to control the blood glucose. So how does that lead to someone losing weight? So the drug... Without being too scientific for okay, us, Doc. Okay, 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 sorry. <laughs> okay, so it helps with... So the cells that it attaches to, the glucagon uh -huh. cells, are found in the pancreas, um, which helps with the insulin production, and then it's found in the brain. So it helps with em uh, gastric emptying. It decreases that time. So you feel full, um, and so it decreases glucose from going into the blood from the food that you eat, and it also makes you feel kind of bloated, so mm -hmm. you don't want to eat more. So it's and, all feeling and, and, and psychological almost. Yes. It also, in the brain, when it attaches to that receptor, it helps you to suppress the appetite. Mm -hmm. So it works in both ways with managing weight loss. And so with so many young people doing this, how devastating is it to those who need it to survive? Yeah. We know diabetic, you know, we, we hear family members have diabetes, but it's, it's no joking matters, no laughing matter. It's a serious health problem. It is. Um, more than 35 million people in the United States have diabetes in some form. And so um, diabetes can cause heart problems. It can cause kidney problems. I mean, it just affects every organ in the body. And so these people who need it to survive are not able to get it because of the shortage, because of the trend, and because of the demand on the medication. And the manufacturers are not able to produce it in that mass demand that it's calling for. And so you have patients who have diabetes, are not able to get it, and then so they run the risk of having a uh, high for glycemia, mm -hmm. um, they run the risk of being uh, into a diabetic coma because they're not able to control those glucose levels. And so these patients are having to use other resources to control their glucose levels other than the medication that was prescribed for them. What is stopping the FDA from coming in and saying, hey, look, you need a prescription for this or um, doctors of pharmacy like yourself check these people to make sure they can have it. So, both need a prescription. If you have diabetes, you need a prescription. For weight loss, you also need a prescription. So, do we have doctors at the other end of this prescribing this stuff? For weight loss, yes. So, and that's because... That's a problem. That is, but that's because the manufacturers have it approved. Some um, of the drugs, like Ozempic, um, Ozempic is the same drug as Wagovi. So, the, the Wagovi is approved for weight loss by the mm -hmm. FDA. Ozempic is approved for diabetes by the FDA. Both drugs are the same. They work the same way. They control the same things. So once patients found out about Wagovi, they started using it for weight loss. Mm -hmm. Once that ran out, then they started yeah. using Ozempic. And a prescriber can prescribe for off-label use, and it's up to the discretion of the prescriber. What's your professional opinion on addressing this issue in America where people's lives are at stake because they don't have the medicine they need? There should be um, regulations put on it and stipulations where you can't switch over. So if you're going to have Wagovi FDA approved for weight loss, then that's the drug that's for weight loss. You shouldn't be able to prescribe Ozempic just because Wagovi is on back order. All right, Dr. Brandy Williams. Thank you for joining us here on The Factor Uncensored and that valuable information.